Hey, what's up, Integrity Fam? We're back with episode two on directory traversal. And in this one, we're going to have a look at more advanced exploitation techniques. So let's jump into the application. And we're once again seeing a web shop. It's a lab by Portswigger. And we are going to click on the Sarcastic Nine Ball. And you've seen this in the previous labs. There's not really much you can do over here apart from seeing an image and a description. So we're immediately jumping into the requests. And once again, we are seeing an image being loaded. And if you're wondering right now, why am I not seeing this response? It's because you still have to activate images in the MIME type filter. So let's do that. Click on apply and we do see the images. Once we got that, we actually go into send it to repeater. And in repeater, we just send it to the app again. We see the image coming back as we already know it. But now we're talking about advanced techniques. After our first video, and I'm going to link it again in the top right corner, we are going to have a look at three more techniques today. So we will start once again with our dot dot slash series followed by Etsy password. And of course, this is still not working. It tells us no such file. So right now in our first technique, we are going to try to URL encode some of the characters. And what you're seeing over here is CyberChef, where you can put down some input, you can, well, put some operations on the input and then see the outcome. And we are going to use URL encode. We are going to say encode all special characters and we do get the output of percent to F. So that is standing for slash in a URL encoded way. So now in our payload, we're going to substitute all slashes with percent to F. And we're still seeing that there is no such file. So now we have to get a little more creative. And a little more creative sometimes just means to URL encode it again. And now it says percent %25 to F. And percent %25 is the URL encoding for the percent character itself. So let's do that. Instead of using slashes, we're going to say percent %25 to F, percent %25 to F, yada, 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 you get the idea. And we're going to send it to the application. And once we've done that, we do see that we have successfully received our password file. All right, that was technique number one, and we have successfully solved the lab. Let's have a look at another one. So now we are having a lab number two, and we are going to have a look at the couples umbrella, really big umbrella over here, much fun, especially when it rains outside. Let's have a look at the image. We will send it to repeater, and we're going to send it to the application. And once again, we're having the image coming back. We're trying our standard payload with dot, dot, slash a couple of times followed by slash Etsy payload. What's interesting over here is that we do see the full path. And this will, will come into play a little later. But as I said, let's try our standard payload first. And when we are going ahead and send this to the application, it says missing parameter file name. So apparently something didn't work out over here. Let's have a look at the original request again. So we're just going back in repeater and we do see var www images and the images file. So the idea right now is to say, okay, we might need this file name to start with the actual file location in the directory, which is var www images. And then we are moving up the directory from there to reach our Etsy password file. And the first dot that slash takes us up to www, the next one to var, and the third one to the root directory. And then the others, they don't really matter. Like three would be enough, but we just go with five for no reason. And then if we look at this, we are once again getting our password file. All right. So we have solved lab number two. Let's check out lab number three. And this will be our last sanitization routine that we have to overcome in this lab. So we're once again having a look at repeater over here. And we do see our file name right now without the full path. But 
the lab subscription said that we should play around with a null byte. And we're going to see this just now, just in a bit. So we're starting once again with our dot dot slash, um, moving up the directory, and then we're saying add password, no such file. But now we're going to say after the string password, percent zero zero. And that is standing for a null byte. And in a lot of applications, a null byte is truncating every content, like every string that is coming afterwards. So if we're going to say right now 1.png, it will bypass the sanitization routine because it will still have the image's name in it, but it will truncate it. And we actually get at C password as we can see over here. And we've successfully solved the lab. All right, let's reiterate on those techniques one more time. So first of all, we're still talking about directory traversal vulnerabilities and for like the general information about them, check out video one. And in this one, we have been looking into three different exploitation techniques, starting with URL encoding being one that not just works with directory traversals. You can do that, try that in a lot of different attack cases. So keep that in mind. This is like a key strategy that works with a lot of applications. In the second one, we just realized that the routine, like the filter in the back needed this full path in the beginning where the images are located. And then we moved up the directory letter from there on. So this is also something you can keep in mind that sometimes certain parts of a parameter are needed. So try your way around that. And in our last lab, we have been truncating in a specific part of the parameter value in that specific case, the image name with a null byte. And it also works with a lot of different vulnerabilities. Always try this out. Like if you have a sanitization routine in place that just looks at the file ending, for example, just try to cut that off with a null byte. All right, that was it for today. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, comment down below in the comment section. Give this video a like, that'd be really important for us. And um, subscribe in the top right corner. And as always, I will see you folks pretty soon.